Hi, I'm Ryan and you are watching my YouTube series on functional programming. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the pipe function. And piping is a very relative concept to compose. And I find it a lot more easier to use pipe than using compose. So if you haven't, uh, haven't read about what compose is, you want to check out my previous video on, on compose because we're going to build on that. Even if not, it's going to be pretty straightforward. So we have this function called compose, which we get from Lambda. And generally, if you want to execute a function like this, you want to you want to greet and then exclaim and then print it. You would do something like console.log. Uh, let's say greet name and then exclaim and then print sorry I don't need the console log in this case because I'm already printing it and if I were to run this code I would get this very simple and straightforward but using the compose function we could do something like compose I take the exact same thing here. So let's say I say print, exclaim, greet, and pass it the name. And I get the same output. Now this is strange because you have to go from right to left, which means if I were writing a bunch of functions like this, I would have to say, I want to first run greet then I want to run uh, exclaim and then I want to run print. This is not a very natural way to write code because we either read uh, top to bottom or left to right. So what we're going to do is we're going to introduce another function called as pipe which lets us write our code in much more readable way. So instead of doing this, we're going to do pipe. And we're going to pipe greet. So I first want to greet, then I want to exclaim, and then I want to print. So the, the order of execution is top to bottom or left to right. And I pass a name. And run the code, I have the same output. So piping is exactly what composition does. It just does it in the reverse order of compose. So mathematically, piping is equivalent to saying if you have two functions f and g, right? So pipe is saying that you first want to run g and then f and pass the argument to it. So the order of execution is left to right. A lot of people prefer using compose. A lot of people prefer using pipe. I am I belong to the group that likes to use pipe because it's easier for me to write and understand and uh, follow the flow of execution. However, it's up to you as a programmer what you want to do. So. You have both these functions available to you from, from the library called Ramda. We will go into the implementa implementation details of these functions in future videos. But for now, this is all I have for this video. If you liked this video, please uh, subscribe, like, or comment, and stay tuned for more stuff. Thanks for watching.